Hello everyone, welcome to the GOE Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the GOE Ecologist. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing our channel because we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography on our channel. Now in today's session on regional geography, we are going to learn about a very interesting concept related to equity and efficiency. Many people talk about that what is best for regional development, sustainable development. Should we follow the principles of equity or should we follow the principles of efficiency? How is this trade-off between equity and efficiency is what we are going to discuss today. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do share the videos with others as well. So now let's discuss this concept of efficiency versus equity debate. Now what is efficiency in simple way? Efficiency is when in a system the given input and the output. If the ratio of this input and output is greater, it means the efficiency of the system is greater in simple way. In economy, when productivity is greater with minimal factors of production, land, labor, technology and inputs, then it is supposed to be an efficient economy. It means it's talking about allocation of resources and also how much resources do we generate. But at the same time when we say equity, it's about distribution of these resources on the basis of fairness. So when we say how fair are we, how equitable are we in terms of the allocation and distribution of resources? Have we made it accessible to everyone? Have we made it affordable to everyone? And also is it available to everyone? Then it is understood in terms of the principles of equity. Equity. So if you observe carefully here in this particular diagram, the three major pillars of sustainable development is equity, economy and ecology. So taking all these three pillars together, we talk about efficiency and equity. That which pillar is more important and how they play a role in sustainable development of a region. That's where regional planning and development is concerned. So if you observe, equity ensures the interests of distributive justice right fairness that we say in terms of ecology it's important that we talk about the ecological principle where human and nature interaction is balanced and in terms of economy we talk about wealth of the nations sufficiency and efficiency so when all these three things are put together then we derive the concept of sustainable regional development so if you observe carefully efficiency and equity in economy now remember efficiency here if you observe is defined in two ways. One is called technical efficiency. So what is this technical efficiency all about? It is the production being done at a lower input cost, right? That is what it says, technical efficiency of the system or economic system. And allocative efficiency is when the resources are being used to make products that people want. So is it in demand? Right. So if you are making a product which is in demand and it's suiting the demand of almost everyone in the system, then it is supposed to be allocatively efficient. Right. This is about economics. But if you talk about equity, when we say equity, remember, it's about how fair is this distribution of products between different members of society. And this is measured in two ways. What are the two ways? Now, horizontal equity and vertical equity. So what is this horizontal and vertical? Look here. No discrimination between people whose economic characteristics and performance are equal. So first is no discrimination principle and also then different treatment of different people in order to reduce differences between the people. It means gap between rich and poor should be reduced. So vertical integration, not just horizontal integration, but also vertical integration of the society through equity principle. This is in terms of economy, allocation of resources in all fairness. Now, if you understand, there are certain theories of equity as well. So let's look into this. The first theory is utilitarian theory of equity. Now, this is a social justice theory that states that equality and equity is equal right where end state that is the resultant the end state equity is where situation everyone gets equal amount equal share and also there is equal benefit sharing now if you observe there is another principle of egalitarian theory of equity now this theory is a little different it doesn't talk about end state it talks about the process 
that means what that it is achieved when people have same opportunities to obtain even if the outcomes are unequal so even if outcomes are unequal but we try to distribute it in all fairness this is making society more egalitarian right so if you observe carefully equity may apply to public health in several ways for example like equal health outcomes equal access for patients equal need and equal use of health care for equal need very important and equal expenditure resources of care for equal need equal costs to the pair and equal need all these aspects if you observe carefully are talking about the equity in terms of egalitarian principle so if you observe this common diagram whenever we talk about efficiency equity equality you observe this is equality what we take is everyone is given the same so that they can stand at same level but even if they stand at the same level, can you see? They cannot see what is happening outside. Now, equity is giving them according to their needs in all fairness, right? So this is what is equity. And reality is that this is the drastic difference. Now we need to make it more balanced, right? The gap between rich and poor is more. And then there is something called liberation. So this is where you remove all the hurdles, right? So these are certain things which we talk about in sustainability concept in regional development. And for example, the two principles of equity in providing healthcare, carefully if you observe as an example, as we talked about. So horizontal equity in healthcare as well as vertical equity in healthcare. How do we observe it? Horizontal equity in healthcare is equal treatment of individual or groups who share similar circumstances but what about vertical one here individuals with different health condition should be treated differently right in proportion to morally relevant factors so morally relevant factors include need that is ability to benefit and autonomy so these are the things that we talk about when we say equity now if you observe carefully there are certain needs that we need to talk about which is we talk about morally relevant factors how do we define it so gender socioeconomic status income education ethnicity disability then we say location nationality all these things are really very important when we talk about equity in terms of vertical equity so what do we conclude in simplification remember efficiency generally relates to how well an economy allocates scarce resources to meet the needs and wants of people consumers and efficiency means that all goods or services are allocated to someone no one is left over right but it does not talk about how in what manner who gets how much the fairness is not talked about right everybody should get is efficiency but how much everybody should get in what ways it should be given is something related to equity so equity concerns the distribution of resources and in terms of social justice and fairness principle so if you observe carefully in order to ensure equitable allocation what is important remember these are the principles to be applied if you can read here targeting towards most in need financial contribution according to the means then transparency to ensure that it is clear to everyone how decisions are made it means transparency in the system and decision making so that nobody feels cheated nobody feels injustice these are important principles in equity so when we say that balancing equity and efficiency for regional development how do we look at the picture now, if you can look at these pictures, these movements of people, right? People saying we can't eat money. They are against capitalistic products, capitalism in many countries. Then many people who are local people whose resources are being drained by many others who are coming from outside. So they protest like this particular, you can see my land not for coal project. So you have seen these kind of debates around the society and it still exists and very much importantly that who should get the resources and its benefits. So government and policy makers often face this trade off between efficiency and equity as increasing equity means giving equitable resources sometimes may reduce the efficiency of the system isn't it so what happens many times this relationship is debated that what should be the trade-off how should we balance we also need to progress we also need to development at the same time keeping in balance the equity right so trade-off between equity and efficiency can be explained with environmental policies of the government if you observe carefully so if you are saying environmental policy who's at the receiving end the local people whose land is being taken off for some projects isn't it so who gets most out of exploiting these natural resources people who are sitting at the top 
right and who are exploited who are at the bottom so then what's the government role government needs to balance it off by providing them the quality of life ensuring education health facilities and other amenities right so this is what we talk about that in environmental policy you can carefully observe that how efficiency and equity is balanced or not balanced so imbalances in regional development can be observed through this debate that is efficiency and equity debate so projects undertaken would have adverse effect on local people there are many agitations as we talked about across the world across india and you may have seen in the newspapers as well so government programs and projects would have multiple objectives in the larger interest of the nation take an example of hydropower project anywhere in himalayan region in india so you know that how it impacts the tunneling projects and landslides that hit but government also looks into the requirement of electricity right so one hand you have to give electricity to everyone you need to be an efficient system but at the same time you need to look into that how local resources of a particular community are being exploited or the environment is being degraded at the same time so that is where the trade off comes the balanced approach needs to be taken care based on social justice and also economic efficiency and ecological efficiency for sustainable regional development that we say so now when we have discussed in details about the efficiency and equity debate in the sessions to come we'll be also talking more about measuring various aspects of development and also if you have not joined our channel and you have not taken the membership do take the membership and the best advantages that you will be given replies to your queries in the comment section so all the best wishes keep learning keep watching keep sharing